What's going on guys and by the title you can already see yes optic did make their new team change or they made their second team new roster i should say they made a new roster consisting of embos killa miracles and ricky and as you guys know in the if you watched my video before this i, t I spoke about who i think optic was going to pick up and i was right about two of them obviously because i, you, I had to be right about at least one of them but uh I consider that a win. I, I guess fifty percent of their roster, and really it was only twenty five percent because I already knew Embos would be on the team, obviously. But I knew Ricky would join because I remember Nate Shot tweeted out a tweet before saying Ricky, uh, Ricky will soon be part of this organization for something. Just wait or something like that. He tweeted out something, and then he joined SB, and everyone was like, "Oh, I thought you know he was going to join a team," and then um, and then when Embos. <laughs> how to make this new team, I knew for a fact Ricky would be that player that he would want on his team. But then when he hit up Killa, Killa was like, nah, man, I'm good. Uh, I don't want to team with Ricky. But I think that was just to throw people off because he ended up teaming with them anyway. And I knew if I knew that if he t teamed or if Killa teamed with Embos, he wanted to bring someone with him because he doesn't like Ricky a lot because they were obviously on Curse LB mm -hmm. and they didn't really, like, they didn't, they didn't get along. They kind of hated each other towards the end. And so when they played, it wasn't really like, it was like a mutual respect. That's why they joined each other's team, obviously. And he picked up Miracles and he brought Miracles along because I think that's his best friend in the gaming community, obviously. And also Miracles isn't a bad player. He's a really good player. And both Killa and Miracles kind of get a lot of shit because they're, you know, they're, they're trash talkers. They like to, you know, talk a lot of trash and, like, get in people's faces and stuff like that at LAN. It's not, like, in their face, literally, but, you know, talk crap and stuff. So that's a main reason why I think that this was a big deal for OpTic because their B team has a lot of hotheads on their team, obviously, with Killa and Miracles. But Killa's started to calm down a little bit. And I think this pickup's going to be good because Killa, he knows how to play the game. Ricky is a very good S&D player. He knows how to play the game. And I think they really did want Ricky at first, the new Optic squad. I think Ricky wanted to go back to the regular Optic squad, but once they picked up Proofy, uh, there was no chance of him doing that. But that would have been cool if Ricky went to the Optic A team and the Optic B team decided to um, pick up Proofy. But all in all, I think this roster change is good for the Optic B team. The Optic A team, I really didn't know what they were doing, picking up another Slayer AR type of deal, but we'll see how it plays out because Clayster is a very good SMG player as well. But we'll see how that plays out. And that's really about it. And the gameplay you guys were watching is a tournament we played. It was a 2v2 TDM tournament. This was the finals. We won the second game, and we ended up losing the third game, best of three. We lost 2-1 in the series, lost in the finals. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, guys, this is Chris. Please follow me on, the, in, on Twitter, and have a great day.